Hi, this is Jack with Vacationies, and I am here for our May news and deals for destination weddings. So, a couple things have happened actually, so let's talk about good news. The good news is things are opening up. So, if you have a dream of having a wedding or maybe going on a honeymoon to Greece, as of May 15th, Greece will be open. We're seeing that happening with many different locations. Tahiti is open. Most of the Caribbean and warm weather destinations, beach destinations in Mexico are open. Some will have certain requirements as a negative COVID test. Most do not. But remember, currently as of the first week of May in 2021, the CDC is still requiring that in order for you to get back in the United States, that you must have a negative COVID test to get back in. Doesn't matter whether you're vaccinated or not. We do not have vaccination passports yet in the United States. France also said that they will be opening probably towards the end of May, early June. From what we've been told, France will have a requirement that you will have to have a negative COVID test to get into France and or a passport, a vaccine passport, or proof that you've been double vaccinated or if you were J&J, a single vaccination. The other thing we're seeing, which is very exciting, is cruises are starting to cruise again. So we're seeing some of the cruise lines cruising out of foreign locations, but we are hearing that in June or July, the CDC has approved that the cruise lines can start sailing out of the U.S. We're seeing Royal Caribbean, Princess, and Carnival all starting to come out with their schedules and celebrity. Some of them have said that the first cruises during the summer and the fall, you will be to be, need to be vaccinated, and others have not made any comment on this yet. As we see more information next month, I will update the videos on that. One of the other things is that the CDC and TSA said they are going to extend the mask mandate. So as you know, currently, as soon as you enter an airport and on your flight, you must wear a mask over your nose and mouth, not as a chin guard. So the CDC has said through September, that will be a requirement. We'll see if the TSA and CDC extend that any further. I've flown. Most people are compliant. As you've probably heard, there are periodically people that just won't wear the masks and are being thrown off of planes and put on a blacklist. So right now, plan on wearing a mask. Um, next thing is, good news, is let's talk about deals. So here's a deal we've seen. Charisma Resorts, which owns El Dorado Resorts in Mexico, Azul Resorts, which are family-friendly resorts in Mexico, as well as Negril, Jamaica. They also own the Nickelodeon Resort in Punta Cana, the Sensatori Resort in Punta Cana, and a soon-to-be Nickelodeon Resort in beautiful Riviera Maya, Mexico, as well as Generations. So that group of resorts has come up with what's called the private event promotion. So as long as your wedding is not on a Saturday, you earn private event credits. Now what is this? This is a way for you to get a free reception, a free cocktail party, credits towards fancy tablecloths, table or credits for to make your ceremony nicer. So that this is part of the private event promotion. The only day it is not valid is on Saturdays. So the key is when you're working with your travel professional, ask them about the private event promotion with Charisma. When we look at our larger groups, let's say it's 25 to 30 rooms, as soon as you hit that 25 to 30 rooms, you can pretty much get a welcome cocktail party for free with top shelf brands and great menus. You can get a reception for free, nice buffets, um, or you can upgrade. So let's say you pick they're free, which in essence may be a chicken dinner, but you want the lamb chops and lobster tail. If they're charging $40, you just pay the differential. And all the brands at the bars are the same brands you're going to see. So that is the Charisma Resort private event promotion, which is valid for all the resorts, and it's not valid on Saturdays. In Jamaica and in Punta Cana, some of the memorable moment collection perks are not available there, so those would be some of the upgrades for tablecloths or credits or fancier chairs. But in Mexico, at the El Dorados and the Azules and Generations Nickelodeon, they are valid. More great news is we received information from Sandals that they are going to open three new properties in Jamaica. 
Now, some of these for your destination wedding or honeymoon are not new, but they will be new to you. These were the original Sandals Duns River is now going to be taken back by Sandals. They're going to invest millions of dollars in it and really upgrade it. It was a beautiful resort. It was owned by Jewel. Now it's going to be the Sandals Duns River. They are also going to do a beaches in Jamaica, which is a perfect place for your destination wedding. There's already two beaches in Jamaica, so this will be the third. Um, it's going to be in the Runaway Bay area. And those resorts we hear should be open either by the end of 21 or early 22. So that's great news for anybody thinking of doing a sandals or beaches destination wedding or honeymoon. Other news we have is Royalton Resorts has come out and changed their deposit policies. So it used to be a fixed deposit of approximately $250. So what they're going to do is they're going to change that. So the non-refundable wedding deposit is going to go up from $250 to $500. And if you're doing a large wedding, a South Asian or Indian wedding, which we tend to do a lot of at vacationies, they're going to change that and they're going to have a deposit based upon each day of your events versus a flat fee. And that is for the Royalton Resorts, basically throughout Mexico and the Caribbean. So hopefully this information has been helpful as you're planning your destination wedding or even a honeymoon for 2021 or 22 and even 23. Uh, feel free to watch the videos. Again, I post a new video every Tuesday and I post news and deals videos typically the first Tuesday of every month.